Okay, now, we need to go talk to the Baron. And we also need to read the bestiary to learn more about botchlings. So we're going to probably start by getting on our horse. Old Rocheroo. Then we're going to open the old beastery panel. What does one press? Is it B? Oh, wow. One that actually makes sense. Uh, Jenny of the Woods. Knickers. Cursed one? Botchling. What? Is it like Gollum? Vulnerable against. Cursed oil. Axie. After the botchling quest, you might want to do some side quests. Uh, after the botchling and the witch quest, or just the botchling one? So I should not do the witch one yet, is that what you're saying? Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Why would they say something like that about anything? Okay. A botchling's curse can be lifted by transforming it into a lubberkin. A guardian spirit of the hearth that watches over the family it never knew in the house that it never could call home. Dude, that's sad. It emerged from its lair at night to lurk beside, uh, by the bedside of an unexpected mother, drain her strength and that of her unborn progeny as she sleeps. A woman thus beleaguered first suffers... From troubling dreams, then fever, delirium, and a general weakening of the flesh. That sounds terrible. After a few such nights, she is enfeebled and unable to defend herself. It is then that the botchling attacks directly, sinking its long sharp fangs into a bot- Oh god, this sounds terrible. I don't want to do this. Fine. Okay. You know what? We need the cursed oil? I think we've got that already. Hey! That we do! Awesome! Perfect. Perfect. So, Falford, you must just tell me if there's, uh, if there's any reason to, like, not do the witch quest yet. Because I can, I can basically chill after I've done the botchling thing, the bloody baron thing, and then I can, like, just do all the side quests and stuff. Because I got a lot of side quests. Botchling fan fiction. That doesn't sound PogChamp worthy, Potato. I don't know if you should say Botchling fan fiction and then PogChamp. Those two things next to each other, I don't know. That what face belongs there. There you go. I'm not prepared for anything yet. What are you talking about? Oh, well, I mean, okay, I do have the oil, sure. I actually, okay, sure. I'll give you that, Super Kiak. I've got the oil. Wait, where am I now? Blackbow. This town just came out of nowhere. Awesome. Fine. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Let's talk to the general goods vendor. Yeah? Craft special order weapons too. Do politicians murder high class prostitutes? <laughs> Boys. Okay. It's my evil twin, Nimul. Nimul is actually one of my World of Warcraft characters' names. It's my rogue, and my rogue is is known for its uh, its attitude. So yeah, that is that is pretty much my evil twin. Botchling fan fiction. Oh god. Hey! Damn dudes, we are not gonna be able to afford all this stuff that we actually want. Cool. Do we have anything to sell? Please. For the love of all that is Oh, there's nothing. There is nothing. More junk, I suppose. We're gonna have to send it uh, sell it at the other vendor. I'm not gonna play cards right now. So long. Oh, okay, so... The witch arc is divided into two quests. Some side quests disappear once you do it. I'm broke. I'm always broke, man. It's because I, I never ask for money. I'm not a good enough witcher, dudes. Buy in or just peruse him. And by that I mean, oh, I think I've been to this guy before. Show me what you've got on offer. I do plan on collecting all the Gwent cards. I just 
need to do that later. So I'm going to actually make a run. So I'm basically going to... Is this what this guy has? Hold on. Am I seeing this correctly? He has two items. God, man. Perusing what? So I'm going to have to do like a, a, a full round of all the towns. And I'm going to have to play Gwent against like so many people. We're going to have to have like a Gwent day. Where it's just Gwent all stream long. Okay, we're going to go back to the Crow's Perch spot up here. We're going to speak to the Baron. And we're going to just do this thing. Okay, the, the Kira quest, that's different. I mean, I know that's a side quest, sure. Cool. That's that's fine, but I meant like the, the witches of Bog, whatever. What is it called? Where is it? Oh my god. Is it Lady? Yeah, there we go. The Crones of Crookback Bog. That one I shouldn't do yet. Move it's it. fine. It's fine. Out of my whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out, signposts. I'm coming through. Oh, why'd I change my armor? Super Kia. Is something burning up there? What? Uh, is that that's where I'm going? Why is it on fire? Come on now. That doesn't look good. Super Kiyak, I changed the armor because the one I've got now is better and it's light armor. I mean, it looks great. That's visually quite stunning, that fire up there. But uh, it doesn't bode well for what I'm actually here to do. Listen, dude, you're kind of in the way. Can I go faster? Wow. Man, they did this so well. These people are reacting like real people would. I love it. Get out of the way. Make way. <laughs> I gotta get up there quickly. Can I? Oh, good. Oh, good. Roach actually knows how to open these gates. Awesome. Yeah, you guys can remind me about the ordering closer to the time. That's cool. I'm, I'm totally happy if you remind me about the ordering. Beast? Onerton? This Valendendris spook. Beast or devil or sorts causing no end of trouble near our village. Onerton. Okay. So we're going to take it out. Cool. These two, whatever. Got to put it out. Yes, someone's got to do that. I'm not the fire department. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. And blind. Nobody willing to put it out. Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Uh, yeah, man. I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now. Quick. Why would anyone say no to that? Why would anyone say no? They're not going to save anyone. Fine, just let him keep beating that person. I can't get to him now. <laughs> Gotta arc this open, right? Nope. That's not working. Up here, then. This is terrible. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta hurry. Hurry up and loot everything. <laughs> arc, arc, help me do something. I'm on my way. I'm actually on my way. Making sure there's nothing to loot here. Oh, the damn horses. Always the damn horses. Please, just lift them out. Please, quickly. Horses are much more important than that guy's life. What? Please tell me I went to the right place. My heart can't take this. Hey, the horses are out. Okay. But what about the guy? There was a guy in there. <laughs> With a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? 
Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? What? Dude, no! What? Why is he attacking me? Do I actually have to attack him? You can't do that right now? Oh, oh fist fight! Oh, okay, cool. Fine. God, that's okay. Is he good at this fist fighting thing? Because it seems like he is. What? He's just blocking everything. Ow. Ow. Why am I so bad at fist fighting? And I can't even... Oh my god. I'm getting beaten down by this fat old baron. I can't even use potions. Oh my god. I hit him. I finally hit him. And he knocked me out. God, is that game over right there? No, I just... I let him win, guys. I let him win. Oh! He killed me! He killed me! Oh. Can't. <laughs> I'm getting wrecked. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know I could... Uh, what? I, I've never had to counter anything before in my life. Hold the block button while spamming attack. Classically stretch. That's what I want to hear. I must learn to counter. Yeah, he didn't actually kill me, guys. I was just knocked out. Still deathless. Oh my god. First time, guys. First try. Still deathless. We need to talk. Barons don't count. Bears don't count. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Hmm. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day. But not today. Damn. Tough life, man. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place. Ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage. For only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Damn, man. I mean, come on. This is actually really sad. Conversation volume is low. It's exactly the same as it was yesterday, though. I can check quickly. Let me check. Yeah, it's exactly where it was yesterday. I will I will make it a tiny bit louder, but I, I, I really can't make it much louder because then it's going to basically ruin things. Is this the guy from Game of Thrones? I don't think so. No. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. 
Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? <sighs> Let's actually ask a question here. Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. <laughs> Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. <sighs> Dude, what even do I say? You guys are, are, are spamming like crazy. Did someone spoil a major plot point? I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh, oh, so a lot of you guys didn't see it. Good. Okay. Good.
Good. I'll... I'll figure something out. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, I, I mean, I'm sorry if someone got spoiled. No, I didn't. I didn't see anything. So let's just do it. Chill. Chill. We're okay. We're all right. Keep it together. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your city. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Look, I'm gonna explain for my sake. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a loverkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. That's good. I wanna I wanna lift the curse. To be honest, that little thing, wherever or whatever it is, it doesn't deserve to die. Shame. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shame. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Hmm. I don't... I'm gonna take him with. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. So, we either go right now, or I have more time to prepare. I don't know how to do the ritual, so give me one second. Need to tend to something first. Be quick. And me? What am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. Ah. That's good advice. That's good advice. So I want to just check quickly if there's any way, any way that I can learn more about this ritual that I need to perform. I think I can figure this out, right? They didn't say anything about it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll actually present itself to me when I get to it. So let's just tell this guy we're ready to go. I'll put that, that oil on my blade, in case. Thing is, I don't actually want to kill it. I really don't, but if worst comes to worst... It has to happen. Well, ready. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Oh, damn. A bit further. Follow me. Out here? 
Of all places. This is strange, Baron. Name. No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Oh, I see. Oh my god. There has to be a storm and it has to be at midnight. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. Oh. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Look. Oh my god. What the hell? Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets clever and restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Come on, be a dad. The merciful gods. Oh my god, those teeth. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a leprechaun. Oh, fuck. What's the magic called? Is it Axie? Oh my god, I hope it's Axie. This is not amazing! Don't say that, Walrus. <laughs> this is so stressful! What if it kills him? He's gonna walk all the way like that? With it precariously perched? Right in front of his throat? Felfit, see you around, man. Okay, let's just, let's, ooh, don't sprint, don't sprint. What's happening? This is fine, this is fine. I'm doing something, don't even worry. This is fine, I can fight these. I just... I didn't want to have to do fancy stuff with a botchling and mess that up. Sheath the sword. Oh, there's another one. This is so stressful. This is actually the most stressed out I've been in this game thus far. I wasn't- I wasn't ready for that, man. I wasn't ready for that kind of responsibility. I think I just saved this man's life. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Okay, here we go again. Need to hurry. This is actually so stressful. Because I know that thing could bite into that man's neck at any point. Get Axie out. I'm ready. Oh my god, not yet. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Please be the last one. Okay. Man, this is too much. Kill it with Igni before it lays eggs. So think of one. It's important. It's a girl. 
What would Anna have named her? A name. Spit it out, man. We need that name. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Oh my god. That's like... That's the worst. <sighs> no buts. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> Thank you. You guys like me in the mood. I love it. The Baron is a surprisingly sympathetic character. I mean, I think he's a big old softy. He's just had a... He's had a bad run of it, you know? A tough time. Man. Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat all that much there. I was kind of concentrating on what was going on here but I appreciate the Bible thumps and the was that an angel thump this quest man why do they make me feel such things God is it is it gonna get worse please don't tell me it's gonna get worse I feel like that was the crescendo get a flower for the grave or something I mean, no, I don't think I can do that. Summon the lover king where the botchling is buried. I, I, what? I mean, I can't do that. I gotta wait, right? So let's, let's wait, but. Yeah, I mean, Yiggles is correct. Baron had a ton on his plate and he made some bad choices. It's tough, you know. Stuff like that, the kind of stuff he was going through would make any man buckle. Now, do I wait like, a, do I wait like a full day? Or do I go do other stuff? I don't, I don't know what the best way to proceed is, because I... No ways! Is it actually... Is it actually the guy... No, you don't, mustn't tell me spoilers. I, I can... I can... I can wait. Is it actually the guy who voiced Robert Baratheon? Thought you guys were joking about that. Okay, well, here we go. Let's summon the Lubberkin. Where the botchling is buried. I can't actually do that right now, can I? Let's just wait a bit. I'm gonna wait a bit. Or can I can I actually do it? No, I can't yeah, I can't. Oh, I can. Sit and wait. Right, got it. Here we go. Damn, I'm actually gonna sit here for like a full day and a night. 
Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm absolutely gonna wait. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Whoa. Chill, man. Slow your roll. That's freaky. Come. Let's go. Run, run. Oh my god, that looks so cool, though. That glow around the little spirit baby. I'm assuming no one else is seeing this. I'll, I'll, they'd be losing everything. They just, they'd be losing their minds right now. Is that a papa? Hold up. Oh, it's a little papa. Oh, can't I take you with? Give up. That'll get me through even the hardest of quests. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Easy. Don't want to run that little thing over. Come, let's just, let's just go. Yeah, the Baron's voice actor was good. Like, he was really good. Slower. So where are we going, little guy? Daya? They, they called him Daya? Where are we going, Daya? I'm with you, little one. Let's ride and all that. No, 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 no. We don't have time for this. We actually don't. Insta lelelees. They just start happening immediately. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Let's just keep moving. Come. No. What? Okay. It's not going in there. I thought it was going to go in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. Search the area around the smokehouse using your witcher senses. It's a Lubbockin now. Her name is Say Her Name. <laughs> uh. Let's inspect this place, guys. Michael Sarai is, is Geralt's voice actor? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, at least I hope not. What is this? Oh, there we go. I just walked like a big circle here. Clothing. They change in here. Oh. He's just chilling out the front. Tracks? Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Is something over here? A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Okay, we're going on foot now. The hell is that? Okay, wait, I need to end this thing's life. Endriga? An Endriga. Okay. That's legit messed up. I've never seen this before. It's like a Zergling or something, except not. Zergling meets Roach. And I mean Roach as in Starcraft Roach. Okay, it just gets worse. Rot Fiend? I don't even know what this is. Yet here I am fighting- Oh! Here I am fighting it. It's just Igni. 
Oh, it's gonna explode. I remember now. I have fought these before. Wow, it's like a chain reaction. Dominoes with the Rot Fiends. Let's quin it up and then Igni again. Necrophages. Oh my god. Should examine that horse carcass. I should try not to die first, G baby. Because as you know, I'm really bad at this game. <sighs> I didn't explode, I'm cool. I'm okay. First Zergling, Roaches, and now Banelings. That's basically what's going on here. We're getting the complete StarCraft experience in just this little stretch of road. I'm hearing something over there. Please don't bother me right now. What do we have here? We have bones. Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. What? Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Oh. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Wow, they were not having a good time. Hell goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. That is a good thing. First beaten by the Baron and then their horse gets killed and they get what attacked assaulted by some super strong monster oh if rot fiends explode in range of each other they kill each other that's good to know wow this is the worst this this is like the most treacherous road i've ever been on yet this is the road they chose to follow or is it just treacherous now because I'm following this little spirit? Is he attracting everyone? Oh, similar to the werewolf I killed earlier? Well, I killed the werewolf, so I'm hoping it's not the same thing. Hoping it's not the werewolf again or another werewolf. That would suck. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Man, I'm hoping we find them here living happily ever after, basically. That would that would be the dream. I see a light on in there. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Okay, let's just bust up in there. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height. About 20. Her mother's thin. About 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Uh. White boy. <laughs> okay. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kid. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Oof. 
Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though any words better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one <laughs> lifted a finger for to stop it. Man, really? What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, poor like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What? What marks? These. Well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand. Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Dude, what? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. For the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Is that for real though? Did she really agree not to go? Did she did she actually go to his brother's place or whatever? Maybe she went off to her mother. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the debt? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly, as evil as if married a wise woman crying shame we couldn't save mrs anna in the end but she could still be alive right thanks for your help the lady she'll be all right in the end won't she i'll do what i can to see that she is kid looks like a tiny version of Voss. Oh man, they don't know what they've got here then. I should leave before he grows up, right? <laughs> oh, are we done? So here our paths diverge. Thank <sighs> you, Dea. Go in peace. To zoom off into the distance. Wow. Are we never going to see or hear from Dea again? Salvi, what's up? Hello, hello. So that was interesting. Now we know. Now we know. That the daughter is definitely alive and well. I mean, it says here, find her in Oxenford. Cool. I think Oxenford's on the other side of the map, though. 
But can't we go and find Anna? Apparently I gotta go talk to the Baron now. But I think I need to do the optional part first. Dude, I think we gotta do the optional part first. Because if we if we do that, it's sort of the same as, as dialogue options, right? Or or can I do either one first? Oh no, see when I highlight it, it changes. Okay, fine. So I can talk to the Baron first. That sounds fine, I suppose. These seem like good people. Why didn't they just stay here? I suppose someone would have recognized them or whatever. Which would have sucked for them. Fine, so I'll go back to the Baron's place. I would love to see the conclusion of this before I start doing anything else. So, even if I have to go all the way to Oxenford first, I'll do that. See, this is looking much better now. It's cleared up. I mean, it's, it's 4 a.m. Okay, wait, no, it's not much better. It's only a little better. There's a rot fiend over there. I should go to Oxen first, first for more story. Ah, it's optional. Great. Okay, but I want to go there. Chop and slice, you cut and dice, you eat, you uphold. 